Welcome to this video where we will explore the world of temperature measurements using two different devices, an infrared thermometer and a thermal camera. These gadgets will allow us to take a closer look at the temperature distribution of a toaster plate in a toaster's resistor. Initially we see a toaster that is at ambient temperature. We have removed one plate from the toaster, so that the resistance can be seen and its temperature can be measured. The initial temperature of the toaster is about 22 degrees Celsius, as indicated by the temperature measurement on the plate and the resistor. This temperature is the ambient temperature. Similar temperature values are obtained using the thermal camera which we will use later. Let's plug the toaster into the wall socket. The infrared thermometer has a laser beam that scans the plate and resistor, capturing the surface temperature measurement in real time. The infrared thermometer converts the infrared radiation emitted by the objects into temperature readings. The measurement takes place without making any physical contact. We can see the numbers dance, indicating that the plate and the resistor steadily heat up as the toaster operates. In this particular thermometer the 8-point laser indicates the measuring area. The plate's temperature rises due to the jowl phenomenon in resistors. Beneath the surface, the resistor is consuming electrical energy. As the electric current passes through the resistor, electrons face a resistance, which ultimately causes the release of heat energy, a process commonly known as jowl heating. This phenomenon is responsible for the increase in temperature observed on the toaster's plate. The shape of the resistor is best seen on the uncovered part of the toaster. The heating of the resistor causes not only the emission of thermal energy, heat, but also the emission of light energy. This is why the resistor gradually turns red, as shown in the video. In incandescent lamps, which are no longer used, this effect was used to produce light. The temperature can reach locally more than 250 degrees Celsius. The infrared thermometer provides a single point temperature measurement at the point of contact. It is quick, convenient, and ideal for measuring specific spots, such as cooking surfaces, car engines, or even human body temperature. Next, we have the thermal camera. Unlike the infrared thermometer, a thermal camera captures thermal images by detecting the heat signatures emitted by objects in its view. These high-tech cameras not only provide a visual representation of temperature differences but also display a wide range of temperature values using a color palette. The thermal camera provides a more comprehensive analysis of temperature distribution across a broader area. As you can observe from the video, the camera displays a color spectrum, ranging from cool blues, to warm oranges, yellows, and reds. The hottest areas appear in yellow, while the coldest areas appear in purple. This information proves invaluable for identifying heat leaks, insulation failures, or electrical malfunctions, especially in industrial, construction, and maintenance applications. 
The colorful heat patterns are a testament to the Joule phenomenon taking place within the resistor. As electrical energy flows, resistance challenges the electrons, converting electrical energy into heat. This heat radiates from the resistor and spreads throughout its surroundings, reaching its maximum temperature during full operational load. The thermal camera can combine the actual image with the thermal image, as shown in this photo. In summary, both the infrared thermometer and thermal camera play important roles in non-contact temperature measurement. The infrared thermometer offers precise spot temperature readings at a particular location, while the thermal camera provides a thermal image, helping to visualize temperature variations across an entire scene. Both devices offer unique advantages and are widely used in diverse fields, enabling us to explore and understand thermal dynamics in a whole new way. Thank you for watching this demonstration. I hope it has shed light on the fascinating world of the Joule phenomenon and temperature measurement using infrared thermometers and thermal cameras.